Alana Yelmjacek. score takedowns if need be, but given this matchup on paper, we're expecting really a glorified kickboxing match here on the mixed martial arts. They can head to the pop four booth right now because we don't need them. This is going to be all striking. Leave that grapple button empty. Don't touch it. Cover it with a piece of tape. You don't need it. Striker versus striker. Both have the mentality that they just want to put damage on their opponents and they don't want to do it on the mat. Upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Big kick lands. Caught that kick there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Yo, wow! That was nasty. If you're trying to send a message to the rest of this division, that is how you send it. So a near perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long. And I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near perfect land to get the knockout win here tonight. Leon Jacek's knee to the body looked like for a second it would get through, but that one is locked. Trying to hammer that lead leg. <laughs> 30 seconds to go in the round. Back and forth we go here! <laughs> 20 seconds to go round two. Kick checked effectively there by Guillaume Jaichek. Ten seconds. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have landed for Ioana Guillaume Jaichek. And landing with 42% accuracy thus far against Ioana Guillaume Jaichek. Well, I'm not sure if she's a former soccer player, but certainly looks like one tonight. Just sheer volume with these kicks, and most of which sure land. Even when you're kicking, it hurts. It hurts when you kick an elbow. It hurts when it gets checked. It is not deterring this young lady from doing exactly what she Oh, a huge connection by her there. Massive shot, land. How is going to try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? The fight's over. Oh, my goodness. What a performance. That was a good stoppage by the referee. She was not effectively defending herself, and the opponent was doing some real damage. It became a dangerous situation. I think it's the right call by the official, and she will live to fight another day.